minimum number of hours to burst balloons. The problem is actually easier than what it looks like. Initially I thought that it was something like that, that, that you had some points on the etoy plane and you had to pass some arrows. I was wrong. The only thing you you have in the problem is that you have some points that indicate the edge start and edge end, which means that it indicates the, the width of a balloon, right? And having that, we can easily calculate the arrows that we need. The idea is that you just throw an arrow vertically and you, can, and you want to hit as many balloons as possible. And the idea is to return the minimum amount of arrows you need in order to explode or to pin all the all the balloons, right? The way to to do this is by first. So this is sorted, as you can see, and this will be an ideal scenario. The reason this is an ideal scenario is that we are sorting by the end because it is sorted by the end. If we iterate over each each balloon, what we can do is that knowing the end range and knowing the start range of the of the current iteration, we always know. If this is because this is sorted by end, right? We all know that this must be inside of this, right? When you need, there are two cases, right? So if this is inside of the the previous range, then it means that it can be exploded using the same arrow. But if this is outside of the of the current range or the end range it means that you need a different arrow to explode this, right? That's the case. And because we need a new arrow for that, we repeat the process and determine which is, or we find which is the end range and use this in order to calculate what other balloons can we explode on, on our next iterations. Go over the a sample iteration and see, see how this would work, right? We have these two conditions. So first, we sort them right by the end, and then we save up the the current range, which shall be the first balloon, and iterate starting from the first one to end. This will be one, two, three, and you start with this one, and then you check if the start is lesser than the range. If it's lesser, then continue. And if it's more, in this case, this is more, I don't know if you can see it, but this should be more than the range, then it means that we add plus one to our, our arrow. And the arrows count, we have to start with at least one arrow, so it will start with arrow equals one. And every time you find a, a range a range start that is larger than the, the current range, we increase the arrow count and we also update the arrow uh, range by the new balloon end.